Welcome back to the channel. I hope you're having a fantastic day. I tell you what, I love being a Corvette owner. Not only am I an enthusiast and a salesman, but being an owner is the ultimate thing in being involved with Corvette sales. Today's video, admins, moderators, owners of Facebook groups, Corvette Forum, let this video stay on there because this video is all about helping you who are not going to buy a car from me Make sure you get the fair deal, the right deal, and not scammed when buying your 2020 Corvette mid-engine C8. Let's go to the house, we'll have some fun, and I'll explain exactly the eight questions you need to ask to make sure you get a fair deal. So for the sake of time i have wrote all of them down but i want to get into good detail with all eight of these things you should be asking the person that you are talking to on the phone talking to in person before you give them a deposit and i want to say one thing i personally would not go on to chevy.com and place your deposit through chevrolet's website do it directly with the dealership so that way you are talking with the dealership before you put your money down these eight things right here, you cannot go to Chevy.com and ask questions on. So you're putting a deposit down blind and have no idea if you're going to get a car, if you, they have allocations, if you're going to pay MSRP or more or less, highly out, unlikely less, all of that good stuff. So don't go to Chevy.com and put a deposit down until you talk to a dealership. So let's talk about number one, the very most obvious one. How many allocations do you have? Every salesperson out there should know the allocation process that they have, how many allocations they have. And if they don't, you probably wanna to talk to another salesperson, but we're gonna show you exactly how to make sure that that doesn't happen in step down below. So GM came out with what I think is a really good process because I think they goofed up the ZR1 stuff uh, back in the day last year uh, on the allocation process. They came out and said that, hey, listen, there's gonna be two types of allocation processes, the first three months and the remaining months. Now we know that the Corvette process goes through September of 2020. That's when the orders are gonna be all done and the plant build out most likely done from the information that I'm seeing. So. January, February, March is gonna be the first wave of allocations. So you wanna ask what their first wave of allocations are and then ask what their second wave is. About 25% of their allocations are gonna be in the first wave. So let's go to number two. Can you talk to a Corvette specialist? That's the number one question that you need to ask. Can I speak to a Corvette specialist? If you're in person, hey, who's your Corvette specialist? So every dealership that is a Corvette dealer will have a Corvette specialist because they will be going to Spring Mountain. Now, some dealers like mine, they're sending the guy who knows everything about these cars, who's an owner, who's passionate about these cars, an enthusiast, um, but uh, some dealers may send their seasoned guy who doesn't care about Corvettes, but you do need to ask for the Corvette specialist for several reasons. They will make sure that you have all the information to make a sale, to get you your car, so on and so forth. So a couple questions that you probably wanna ask if you're on the phone with the salesperson up front, ask a couple easy questions. Easy, easy, easy ones. How many trim levels are in the C8? We all know that there's three. It's a simple, easy question. You're testing the person to see if they know. If they don't know that question, they shouldn't probably be selling Corvettes. How many colors are in this year? They could come up with numerous numbers. We know that the number is 12. It's the most they've ever offered. But if someone says, I think around 10, 11, something like that, okay, we're on the borderline of them knowing the Corvette, but you can be rest assured that you're getting a Corvette specialist. Let's ask about deposit policy. Deposit policy is huge. Number one, never pay your deposit with cash pay it with a credit card or a check. I prefer a credit or debit card because it protects you that if the dealership is doing something screwy and they throw you curveballs and don't agree to terms that you wanna buy a car, you just call your credit card company up and say, hey, I just puked that charge and you have your money back. Can't do that with a cash, and if they cash your check, you can't stop payment on the check once it's been cashed. What non-state federal fees do you have? Most importantly, dealer dock fee. I, I want you to ask it exactly this way. What non-state federal fees do you have? Because the dealership can forget about fees, right? So when you ask about non-state and federal fees, 
they should come up to you and say, hey, this is our dock fee, this is this fee, this is this fee. If you watch the seven fees to never pay a dealership video, I'll put that down in the description and link it right above uh, with the little I at the top corner of your screen, you'll see what not to pay. No dealership should be marking a deal car up over MSRP. They'll try. I've already seen cases of people reporting 10 and $20,000 in California. Chevy dude, MSRP. Um, so the dealer doc fee is very important to know because all these dealers are going to be selling cars at MSRP to make sure you get the cheapest car. Uh, how do you ship cars? This is extremely important. So some people will ship cars that are not direct. Me personally, I use two different carriers. I use a local guy that can pretty much go like Texas, up to New York, up to Minnesota, everything from there to the East Coast at a relatively short time and very reasonable on price. And he's a guy that usually handles McLarens and, and high-end Mercedes-Benz and Lamborghinis. He just he just put a $2.2 million Lamborghini on his truck and traveled that back and forth for maintenance. So um, I use a guy that's really good, but there are some places that don't ship direct. They will sit there and they'll ship it out west. They have a holding facility. That car may sit there, and I'm saying your car, as far as that car, your car may sit there for a week or two weeks before they get enough cars to go one way or the other. I use a company, I never use them again. They shipped their car to California. It was going to Washington State. It sat there for two weeks and went to Washington State two weeks later. Dirty because of dust in the warehouse and stuff like that. So make sure you deal with somebody who has a broker or somebody who uh, ships direct to your front door. Ask for a price breakdown. Uh, I'm gonna show you exactly after I go over the next two of what a price breakdown should look like and come from the dealership for you. ADMs, the biggest one out there, additional dealer markup. That's what I. That's what that stands for. Really, it should stand for scam. That's all that an ADM is, is an absolute 100% scam. And any dealership charging $1 over MSRP list price is absolutely scamming you 100% and you need to move on to the next dealer. Do not fall for this stuff. Yes, supply and demand is huge, but you gotta realize that Chevrolet is going to want to ramp this C8 up to about 40,000 units in its peak. It did it with the C7, it was the first time, they're gonna do it with the C8. There's gonna be a car available to you and you can get it with no problem if you wait just a little bit time if you don't get inside these first wave of allocations. And the last thing, additional addendums. So this is this is tricky. Dealers are really, really tricky when it comes to this stuff. If you ask if there's any additional dealer markups, they're gonna think over MSRP. They can answer ethically no, but when the car comes in, again, up there in the top corner of the screen, that little I is the fees to never pay a dealership. That video's got almost 1 million views. That's how good it is. So addendums are absolutely trash. People will put things on there like paint protection or some type of road protection or environmental fee, all sorts of made up crap, nitrogen in the tires, all sorts of made up stuff that doesn't mean anything to you that you can go out and get for pennies on the dollar out there. So make sure that you ask about additional addendums and they do know what addendum means. So just sit there and ask, are you gonna put any addendums on the vehicle? Uh, that kind of covers both of these when you ask it in two different ways. If you don't ask these eight questions, there could be a big thing that you're gonna get scammed. Most importantly, get it in writing of what the dealership is going to do. Get it in writing of the price, get it in writing that there's gonna be no additional fees, get it in writing that you will be paying only your state sales tax and title fees. So regardless of where you live, every dealership's a little bit different, so I can only speak with mine. Regardless of where you live, I collect your state sales tax and your state's fees for title purposes. All of that money, 100%, goes to the DMV. The dealership doesn't keep nothing. You're not double dipped on anything. So therefore, uh, everything goes there. You just walk into the DMV, you get your license plate, all of that good stuff. So just make sure that you understand uh, that you are getting that. Illinois is getting ready to charge you tax regardless of where you live, so be careful. There are states out there like that, that regardless of where you live, you do get double dipped on fees. So make sure you ask about the sales tax, that you're only paying one sales tax and that would be the state that you live in. So thanks for sticking around. I'll show you this price breakdown of what you want to see. Um, basically, you want to see MSRP, because we're talking about Corvette C8 now, okay, not any other car outside of, you know, there's enough 
inventory with low demand. Um, we want to see what the dealer dock fee is. And you want to make sure that you pay your state tax if the dealership requires it. So every dealership's different. Some dealerships don't collect sales tax, some do. My dealership policy, uh, we do collect your state sales tax. Um, you wanna collect your state title fees or any other fees. There's a lot of miscellaneous fees all across the country. Um, and then uh, you, have, you should have your grand total. So if you get this from the dealership, T-O-T-A-L, uh, if you get this from the dealership up front when you're ordering your car, if they play any games with you, you can come back and say, see this email, see this worksheet, stuff like that. So something that I do for my customers, if requested, is that uh, I have a sheet that looks like this, and you can see it has everything broke down as far as sales tax and all that good stuff. So uh, again, just do your due diligence, make sure you don't get screwed over. And uh, of course, I'm always here to help to answer any questions. Guys, right, so I hope this video was informative. Again, make sure that you share this video in forums, on Facebook, all that stuff. I'm gonna upload this video to my Facebook page and also uh, a little bit of it to Instagram as well. So make sure you follow me on Facebook and Instagram. Those links are in the description below. And of course, do me a huge favor, support the Chevy Dude. Right here, you got Chevy Dude's clothes, you got merch, you got swag, and we got these awesome American keychains with the Chevy Dude logo on the back. And I've had a lot of Canadian people reach out to me when I put those in the store and said, hey, what about us? So there you go, Canada people. A, we got the Chevy Dude autograph and A on the back and the Canada flag on the front. So again, support the channel by going to ChevyDudeStore.com. Thank you again for watching. If this is the first time that you're watching the video, make sure you hit the subscribe button, thumbs up the video, and turn your bell notifications on. Have a great day, and drive safely.